Today we're going to talk about Kubernetes engine. Now I'm just going to log in. Okay. Need to confirm that protection. Going to agree. Continue. Now I'm going to set the product ID. Let's set our project. Open our project. Now I'm going to activate Cloud Shell. You already know where is it. Let's check our list of authorizations. Yeah, our account. Now let's get the project configuration. That's it. Correct. Now I want to set the zone to West Central 1A. Maybe it's Iowa. Now I'm going to create a cluster. Call it Gateway. Creating a cluster. Kubernetes engine cluster is going to be created. A cluster. Now, once it's created, we can get the credentials to get into this gateway. If you don't specify the location, it goes to USA, US Central 1A. As we define it, our compute zone has US Central 1A. Take some minutes. refresh really takes some minutes <laughs> yeah this there's no way out running out of it you have to wait by the way I think it's too fast just to create a cluster inside a cloud platform. It's very fast. How those engines are very fast. How those resources. Creating. Okay, now health check is being created. If you leave by default the creation of the gateway, the the cluster, you have already uh, you're logging into stake um, to the um, stake driver already. How the monitoring configured. that you don't have to care all oh, created no so now let's get the credentials to gateway it also can run the cluster info if you run QB commands are okay now so let's see get secrets yeah the default one now we're going to run a hello server Deployment created. Now we are going to expose this hello server as a load balancer. 
So if you get around cube, as we see, here you have your load balance hello server. You can also run the get service hello server. You have all the definitions creating your external IP. Refresh, going to workloads, service ingress. Got it. The pod you have on the one if you run cube TTL get pods. Yeah, I have one pod running. Once it's prepared, you're gonna get SVC hello get service. You're gonna have your external IP address. Let's just wait that to have an external IP. Here we go. So here you have you have to see external IP address. So 8080. Yeah, hello world server. That's how simple it is to you run a Kubernetes engine and create a cluster. Bye bye.